Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Arlie, and I am here to share a dessert with you guys. I know I haven't been on in a while. I haven't posted any videos in a couple of weeks. Um, I have been extremely busy with my furniture renovation and epoxy work business, and which is great. I'm super happy about that. But I'm excited to come back and just share something super quick with you guys that normally could, it looks like it took all day to make, and I'm gonna show you the little quick way that I do it so that it doesn't take all day and I make it really fast. And that's using Betty Crawford Cake Mix. Um, we're gonna make tres leche today, only not really tres leche, we're gonna make cuatro leche, which is four milks cake. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. We're gonna start with, like I said, a box of cake mix. Normally I would make my sponge cake from scratch, but I'm in a bind, I'm in a hurry, and I have a lot of work to do, so I can't do that. So this is how we're gonna do it. This cake mix, as you can see, it calls for water, vegetable oil, and three eggs, right? A cup of water, half a cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs. We're going to make a couple substitutions on that. We're going to swap out the vegetable oil for butter, same amount, half a cup, and we're going to swap the cup of water for a cup of milk, and the eggs stay the same. So I already have my oven preheating at 350 because as you can follow in the package instructions always pay attention to that it lets you know that it's a different temperature for non-stick pans versus um, glass or shiny pans so and dark metal pans it's, it's different so you have to follow it so since I'm using a glass pan I'm going in at 350 and all we're gonna do is add the dry mix to a bowl I have half a cup of butter melted. Let's add that in. And then our milk. We're gonna add one cup of milk. I use 2% milk, that's just a personal preference for me. If you have whole milk, skim milk, almond milk, soy milk, whatever milk you have, it'll work just fine. Add the milk in. Whisk that all together. And then it calls for three eggs. So I'm going to crack them into this same measuring cup. And I'm going to whisk them in this cup just to make sure they're broken up. I mean that's it we just have to incorporate this all together don't over mix it you just want it to come together so that you have a soft and fluffy cake and now I'm going to spray my glass pan I'm doing this liberally because the last time I baked a cake, I, it stuck to the pan and I was very angry about it. I mean, the cake was delicious. We still ate it, but presentation wasn't necessarily the prettiest. So, just a rubber spatula. See, I'm making this super fast. Going to just pour it all in there, scraping the bowl every last little bit. Make sure it's all spread out even, and that's it. We're gonna pop this into the oven for 28 to 33 minutes. So at 30 minutes, I'm gonna check on it with a wooden skewer or a toothpick or even a butter knife, and make sure it's completely cooked. When it is. We'll pull it out of the oven and I'll show you how to finish it off. Okay guys, our cake has baked. Look at how cute my apron is. Don't you just love it? I love it. So our cake has baked. It is ready to go. As you can see, it's a nice golden brown cake. It's beautiful. It's actually a little bit more done than you normally would do. And I did that on purpose because we're going to soak this cake in milk. Now, 
you see it's pulled away if you look real close it's kind of pulled away from this side a little bit like I can kind of fit my finger in there that's what you want so it's cooled so I can touch it I'm gonna set it aside in a bowl we're gonna combine one whole can of sweetened condensed milk there's non lactose options out there for all of these ingredients feel free to use whatever you feel comfortable with using or with dietary restrictions there's always options and you can still have this delicious flavored cake so now full can of sweetened condensed milk I'm going to add to it eight ounces of evaporated milk and we're going to whisk that together to just kind of loosen up that sweetened condensed milk a little bit and make it a little bit easier to um, to combine Okay, to that, we're gonna add eight ounces of regular milk. That's where our three milks come in. Whisk, whisk, whisk to combine. And the last ingredient is gonna be a teaspoon of vanilla extract. The cap on these little ones is usually about a teaspoon amount, so less things to dirty. A cap full. Whisk, and that's it, you're good to go. So, now all I'm gonna do is take this cake and a fork. Using a fork, we're gonna poke some holes in it. Just random. It doesn't have to be in a specific pattern. You're just making it so that when you pour the milk over the top, it will get in there and soak all the way through. Here we go. Carefully, so you're not splashing and making a mess. Making sure that it's coating the cake evenly. You might have to wait a second as it's soaking into the cake before you keep pouring the rest in just so that you don't have an overflow and make a mess. Perfect. So now this is going to sit for about 10 minutes and make sure that all of that milk mixture is getting soaked all the way throughout the cake, which as you can see it already is. And then we're gonna finish it off real quick with the fourth milk. Okay guys, so our cake has fully soaked in all of the milk. You can always add more, but I don't want it to be soupy. I'd rather it just be moist, because when it's too soupy, it falls apart and nobody can eat that. So, I'm gonna uncover it real quick, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna finish this. This is your fourth milk. This is dulce de leche. This is a milk caramel spread, and what it is is essentially is sweetened condensed milk that has been cooked over time. Now, people will pressure cook this within the can. I'm not about it. And sometimes they'll just boil it over a long period of time in the can, which is also dangerous. And it takes about three to four hours. Now, a can of sweetened condensed milk in our area right now is about $1.50 to $1.99, plus the time and the energy you're gonna put into boiling the can to make your own dulce de leche this jar was three dollars so i'm okay with spending three dollars and getting it ready made and it smells and tastes delicious so now all we're going to do is take this and spread it all over the top of our cake making sure to cover it evenly You know, I think that my spatula fits in here and like that we can get everything out. Yeah, perfect. Use a rubber spatula, guys. It works so much better. I don't wanna leave anything behind, it's delicious. Okay. This is extremely rich, so you don't 
want to overdo it either because then it becomes obnoxious but I don't know if you can describe that appropriately for food as being obnoxious, but we're going to go with it. We're just going to spread it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, if you wanted it to be absolutely perfect, you could microwave it for a few minutes. Not minutes, a few seconds. Ooh, sorry, that would have been a disaster. You can microwave it for a few seconds and that'll loosen it up a little bit but then I find that it kind of spreads too thin I mean it's up to you whatever you feel comfortable with I know that my family is not gonna knock me if it's got a couple crumbs on the top so long as it tastes delicious and then I will show you how you can cover those couple crumbs so no one even sees that oh you guys see Rex he's laying out there So you just kind of want to get it evenly spread out over the top. See? Perfect. And then let me see if I have any. What? Okay. So, this is a stroke of luck because I did not plan on doing this. But it worked out that I had maraschino cherries. I buy them with the stem off because, I mean, who likes to eat the stem anyways? So we're just going to pick them out and put one on each corner. Come on, buddy. Work with me. And then here we go. and it looks beautiful so if you have any funky spots that you don't want people to see cover it with a cherry it works perfect and that's it that's tonight's dessert super quick super easy I'll cover it up again with the plastic wrap loosely and put it right back in the fridge and serve it cold it's delicious and you're gonna love it so is your family okay guys it's time for dessert so let's take a big chunk oh my god it's so moist and delicious looking this is a delicious corner piece I love corner pieces of desserts and lasagnas. Look at that. Looks amazing. <coughs> Gotta grab a spoon. Okay. Time to take the taste test. Mmm. Oh my god, it's delicious. Oh wow. I did a good job. That's awesome. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe and hit the little bell so that you can be reminded of every time I post a new video. Thank you for sharing, guys. Have a wonderful night.